everything I made and everything I will ever make. It's possible because this man decided to make a 3D graphics program back in 1995. Fuck yeah, the man is the greatest alive. Name of this crazy Dutch man is John Rosendahl. Why crazy? Because he and his foundation is giving away a full 3D creation and rendering program for free for more than a decade now. Name of this dope as software is Blender and it's all free. No log features, no sign up, no paid services, nothing. All the tools you need for modeling, sculpting, shading, texturing, animation, rendering, everything for free. Like literally bro, you can download the full version right now. Right now as you're watching this video and make whatever the f*** you want. So who is this mad awesome super generic Dutch dude and why is giving such a powerful tool for free? In this video, we're gonna tackle that. Hello, my name is Sam and you're watching Interesting Time Lapses. Well, technically you're watching Interesting Time Lapse, but the whole concept is named Interesting Time Lapses, so you're the... Hey, stop f***ing the viewers. Shut the f*** up Alex, I'm excited. First, a little introduction. John Rosendahl or Daddy Blender is a very famous personality in 3D communities. He is the original creator of the 3D creation suit that we all know and love, Blender. He is also the founder and chairman of the Blender Foundation. The Blender Foundation is responsible for the development and distribution of the software Blender. On a special note, Blender Foundation is a non-profit organization and the development is backed by donations. John is also known for partnering large-scale open movie projects. Now to understand the full story of Ton and Blend itself, you have to understand two things. First, Blend is a free software, which is fairly simple to understand. And second, Blend is an open source software. Now what is an open source software? Short and simple answer, whatever you make in an open source software belongs to you. You are free to use that in any way you want. More complex answer, in another video. So Tom was not always a programmer. He studied industrial design and he originally wanted to be an architect. In 1989, he co-founded the animation studios Neo Geo meaning New Shape which quickly became the biggest 3D animation studios in Netherlands. While working at Neo Geo, Tom was also coding and later he was in charge for in-house software development. Tom stated that the coding was fun and he liked it. Who am I to judge? In 1989, he coded a ray tracer called Traces for Omega. And in 1995, John worked on an in-house 3D tool set, but it was not released in public. It was for the company uses only. And this, my friend, was the first foundation stone for Blender. In 1998, John sold the company. Or you can say the Neo Geo was taken over by other companies. But luckily, Tom was able to keep the software that he developed to himself. Tom founded a new company called Not A Number to develop and market Blender. In January 1998, the first version of Blender was released on the internet. First for Silicon Graphics, then Linux, FreeBSD and Windows versions. All were released within a year. But here's the thing, at this point, Blender was not open source and not even free. It was free to download but some features were locked and you had to pay to get keys to unlock them. By doing this, they raised some money and eventually got investors on board. At that time, Blender had, listen closely, 5 million dollars in investments. But time changed. In 2002, the market crashed, or as some say, the internet bubble burst in. And naturally, the investors started to exit, and they told Tom they had to stop the development of Blender. So what happened here? Basically, at the start of Northern Number Company, Tom owned 100% rights to Blender. But as investors started to invest their money in the company, 
the rights to the blender started to shift to investors and now they have the authority to stop the development of blender the end of blender that could be the end of blender but luckily it was not now around this time a strong and dynamic blender user community has formed and they didn't want blender to die and guys this is an interesting part Rosendahl Sir formed Blender Foundation in May 2002 and the main goal of this foundation at that time was to save Blender or you can say buy back Blender from the investors. And you know what Tom and the community did? They collected 100,000 euros. F***ing 100,000 euros via internet within 7 weeks. Just 7 weeks. It's f***ing insane if you thought about it because they did it back in 2002 when there was not that many means. This was known as the Free Blender Campaign. With that money, Blender was registered on the GNU GPL license. To put it simply, GNU GPL allows a software to stay free. Under it, a software can only be free and open source, meaning Blender is free FOREVER! That's the beauty of GNU GPL license, baby! And that was the Tom Rusendahl story. Like there's a lot more to cover and he's still doing awesome stuff till there. But to keep the video short and relevant, let's end it here. But I'm still gonna express my gratitude anyway! Tom Rusendahl so, if you're watching this, like it's very unlikely that you will watch this, <laughs> but if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you. Thank you sir for providing a f***ing awesome piece of software and thank you for making my life awesome. Love you from the bottom of my heart. And that will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video as much as you can. I really want Tom Rusendahl to see this. Please help me. Help me. Thank you to all the 150 subs. Keep supporting this humble beginning. I love you.